Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kyle. Thank you all so much for being with me. I'm doing a bit of a different video talking about the outfits I wear to work at Trader Joe's. So the main rule is that our shirts must always have the logo on them. But other than that, we're kind of free to do whatever we want. For my first outfit, I hand tie dye this t-shirt and I will link the video I use to dye it down below. I'm wearing vintage pants from Carhartt. I really like the double knee patches in the front and the paint splatter, as well as the baggy loose fit. And my shoes are from Hoka One One. They're the comfiest shoes to wear to work. My next outfit is a bit more preppy looking. I layered a dress shirt underneath my work shirt. The dress shirt is from Uniqlo in collaboration with J.W. Anderson. I really like the different stripes all along the shirt. My pants are from Everlane. They're a slim casual dress pant. They're so comfy and super easy to work in. My shoes are from Doc Martens. I've had these shoes for about seven years now and they're still comfortable and I wear them all the time. My third outfit is an all black outfit. Just going for something simple, but still a little bit more put together. I'm wearing these vintage Levi straight leg jeans. I really like the way that they kind of flare at the bottom, giving it more of a Western 70s look. I paired them with some vintage motorcycle boots that are super comfy. And I'm wearing some extra jewelry that stands out more with my all black outfit. I really like this pearl and glass bead necklace that just gives my outfit a bit more of a dainty touch. My fourth outfit includes this tie dyed shirt that I got from work. It's really interesting because not everyone has the same shirts at all of the stores. Sometimes you'll see crew members with certain shirts that other crew members have never seen. My jeans are from Everlane. They're the best jeans to wear to work if you're interested in wearing something that's super comfortable and stretchy, but still cool. I gave my jeans a raw hem and paired them with my black Doc Martens. My fifth look is an all blue look for when I'm tired of wearing all black. I often find myself wearing my sweaters to work because my store is so cold. I wear my sweaters in a size large for a baggy oversized look. My jeans are from a Korean brand called AS Glo. They're super comfy and look really nice in a straight leg fit with a raw hem. I paired them with my Hoka One Ones in white, or they were white, but I wear them to work all the time and so now they look like this and I have no shame. I really like the rainbow laces that add a pop of color. My final outfit is definitely my most comfy. I really like the color of this green pastel shirt, as well as my black crew neck sweater. My pants are from Outdoor Voices and they are the comfiest pants. I wear them all the time. This is definitely my most worn look to work. I also am wearing my Nike Air Maxes. I really like the hints of green in these shoes that bring out the green in my shirt. Hi everyone, I just wanted to jump on here and kind of talk about my relationship to clothing really quick. 
I have always loved clothes ever since I was a kid. I remember when I was young, my parents <laughs> put a lock on my closet because I would change my outfits uh, all the time throughout the day. And I even remember a time where I like put on like 12 t-shirts on at once because I couldn't decide what I wanted to wear. And now that I'm going through this spiritual journey, I pay a lot more attention to um, the feelings and uh, um, emotions that arise in me whenever I think about clothing and whenever I spend money on clothing. I fully recognize that a lot of the time when I feel like I want to buy something or I want to shop online, it's to distract myself from emotions or feelings that I'm having at the time. Although I really love clothes, I just have a terrible track history of spending ridiculous amounts of money on clothes, like thousands and thousands of dollars in my past, for sure, of things that I just simply don't need and don't even own anymore at this point. And I've gone through a long process of decluttering what I own and getting rid of things that I thought I wanted, but were merely put on me by the culture of fast fashion that I bought into. Now I try my best to only buy clothing from resale shops and vintage stores and just ways of getting clothes uh, secondhand rather than buying them new and contributing to the toxic cycle of fast fashion that we sure surely all know is so bad and just trying to turn that process into something that is more connective more intuitive um, rather than mindless and leaning into the fact that i know it feels better to spend money on something that is secondhand rather than spending money on something that i know is contributing to um, the destruction of our environment as we all know, I'm not perfect, so a lot of the clothes that I wore in this video, um, I did purchase new, um, so it's something that I'm still working on, but also just bringing it more and more into my awareness and talking about it more and finding people who are kind of in the same boat who want to walk away from new clothing and mass-produced clothing. So just taking my time and allowing myself to try my best and um, looking at this shopping addiction and allowing myself to heal it um, slowly because it's been so present in my life for such a long time and transform that addiction into an authentic expression of myself through the clothes that I wear. And I just have so much respect for people who take their outfits or their fashion or their makeup to the next level um, at like customer service jobs or jobs where um, creative expression of self isn't really inherently valued and just allowing ourselves to let people know who we are by what we're wearing and how we're presenting ourselves and affirming to the world that yes this is how I exist all the time and a job is not going to stop me from existing as my truest self. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye!